All right, guys, what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to try to attempt a do-it-yourself video. Oh, yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to change the rear differential fluid on here and the gasket, right? Because I do not like what they do at the dealership, okay? They put a gasket on it in the RTV sealant, all right? And I can see it from here. It just looks ugly. The stuff, it just doesn't look professional to me. All right, and I'm gonna replace the OEM gasket with this lube locker. All right, and uh, you got here, there's the feature. Gasket installs dry, no sealant required. That's where I'm at with this. All right, I want a cleaner look going on back there. All right, if you wanna look here, I have a 2015 Ram 1500 with this axle here. All right, so I think that's the model number right there. I'm not sure if you have the same damn deal going on. All right, hot damn deal. All right, so before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some recommendations and tell you kind of what you're gonna need. All right, I recommend a socket set, torque wrench, all right, the proper lubricants. And uh, we're gonna give this lube locker a try. Never tried it before. All right, but we are going to try it, and I will give a review on it later. All right, if it leaks, it sucks. All right, uh, but if it leaks and I don't have it torqued properly, all right, because what I'll do if it leaks, I'm going to take it to a buddy that I know is a damn professional mechanic, all right, and uh, have him go ahead and torque it down properly and check it. And then if it doesn't leak, then we'll know it's me or the gasket. All right, and if it doesn't leak, then, you know, right off the bat, then good deal. All right, so all that lubricants, tools, gasket, oh, the diff fluid. If you've never changed your, your differential fluid, I'm going to tell you that stuff stains. All right, so make sure you got something to catch that chit when it's coming out, right? Hot down. Uh, yeah, I learned my lesson over there. I got a giant stain by the Jeep. That's not the Jeep fluid. That's the fluid from this truck when I installed that little red cage deal right there uh kind of leaked out a little bit so i have a little tiny leak you know ever since then all right the next thing i want you to do is get in your manual this is a 2015 all right and make sure everything is correct your fluids whatnots and whatever so you can see here i didn't get my recommendation for fluids actually from the manual which you should uh, a lot of the performance guys recommend this all right the uh, factory stuff it's good uh, they say it's the best, all right, and you know, you can use whatever you want. I'm not saying that what you're using is not the best or better, okay? I'm just, it's just the deal. All right, so it really doesn't tell you how much, so you just want to get a couple bottles. I got a third one just in case. I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm not sure yet. You just kind of fill to the bottom of this hole here. Take this rubber piece off. I'm going to show you. Fill it to the bottom of the hole. Put your finger in there. Touch it. You're done. All right, that's how it's done. It's kind of caveman style. Uh, so, uh, 75140. 75140, there's a model of MS8985, which is on here too. Uh, limited slip rear axle require addition of 5 ounce of limited slip additive, right? So, I got it here. Now, here's the funny thing. 5 ounces. This is dumb. Uh, watch for this. There's 4 in here. There's 4. They sell it in 4 ounces, and I need 5. Why don't you sell me a 5-ounce bottle? This is the right uh, model number here. MS-10-111. Yeah, so that's kind of ridiculous. Make sure you get two of these if you have limited slip, right? And uh, you're going to kind of have to eyeball it unless you got like a little uh, something to measure an ounce, right? I'm just going to eyeball it. A little too much is not going to hurt, all right? Uh, one bottle will probably do it anyway. One four ounce bottle is probably going to do the trick. You won't need that other ounce, but I'm going to try to squeeze it in there anyway because I'm going to be nitrous pumping this deal. All right, hot damn. Now, yes, you do see the stock can in there because I'm having problems with the neighborhood, right? And I'm in an HOA, so uh, I got to keep it toned down, right? I'm just, I'm not going to fight with nobody over this. All right, just going to put it on, goes right on, no problem, all right? You know, I think it's funny, people, they make comments, social media, oh, that guy's got uh, long tubes, exhaust, and he still has got the resonators. And I tell those guys, hold my beer. 
All right, anyway, dumb joke. Uh, so that's what I recommend. That's what you're going to need. That's the first five minutes of this video. And uh, let's start tearing into the rear diff. All right, oh, before we get going, because the camera's going to be set up on a, on a tripod cameraman type deal, there is a little drain back here. You see it right there? Right? Yeah. Yeah, right here. I'm going to try not to use it. Probably should. Uh, it'll make it a little less messy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it up all at the bottom and uh, start loosening it at, you know, slowly to the top and just let it pour out into this bin here because I don't want to take that out, put it in, and then later on that leaks. Okay, that's going to piss me off. I don't have time for that, nor do I have the money for that type deal. So that's what I'm going to do. It uh, seemed to leak out just fine when I was putting that red cage on there. So uh, hot down. Here we go. All right, we're at step two. Step one is getting all your stuff together, all right? Woo! Okay, so, ah, step two. Guess we'll go ahead and try to get the fluid out and the cover off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little purple cranium off here. I know it's not purple. The company's purple cranium, all right? This is red. This is cage is actually called like a spider cage or some deal like that. All right, flew it out. Oh, this video is going to be long. Watch. Oh, come on. Oh, son of a brisket. I need some muscles. Uh, I'm just going to start at the lower half. All right, why don't you fit on there? Oh, uh, we got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. All right, so I got one of these dilly dallies. I don't know if you can see it. Swivel deal because I got this, uh, got the sway bar in the way, right? Swedge bar, sway bar. All right. Let's see, where was I at? Oh yeah, here. Yes, yes, come on, come on. All right. It's a lot easier if you got a, like a breaker bar type deal. I got one, but trying to get exercise. All right, get it done. this guy. It's so close. I'm gonna have to do some modifications here. So when we got a half, I'm gonna need to get, unless I got a thin wall on this. I'm running into difficulties. If you don't have this cage, you won't run into difficulties yourself, right? I just have a uh, drill tight right here. On this other side, maybe I could just shut it on. I don't care. No, nope, gotta get up. Oh, man. Okay, I'm back. I told myself I was gonna fix this. All I need to do is run into this a little bit here. Take care of this one. The socket doesn't want to fit on it because of this bar right here is welded too close. It's an easy fix. I'm just too lazy. All right, so I'm just going to take this bottom cage off. Things should start to leak. What did it do? No, I don't want these are short too. I need to get another one. This is all like a. When I bought this, if you ever buy one, there's a short one. The bolts that came with it didn't fit. They just did. The threads were wrong. They were like fine thread or something. This is coarse thread. All right, dilly dally. Roll the dally. What do I do here? Did I put a washer on that? Seriously? I don't even remember how I installed this. It's a shame. It's a shame. I think that the reason why I don't remember how I actually got it installed is because it started leaking when I was installed it, thinking it wasn't going to leak because it was RTV sealed. No, it leaked. So I was panicking, trying to get it on. There we go. I don't know why I'm going to use washers. I got on there. It's kind of dumb. What was I thinking? All right, I see it's starting to leak right now. Already. RTV didn't do nothing. That's a shame. All right, hold on to my bolts. Got this dilly dally off. Look at all this oil that's on the back of it. No good. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna kind of clean all this stuff up off camera. All right, just kind of wiping it down. I don't really think I should, you know, you need to see that. I need to save some uh, data bike tank time here, right? On my, on my camera. I'm wasting time right now. Eat. Right. Do this. Whoops. Day by time. Yeah. Uh, oh, gotcha. Uh, no, a lot of you guys are like, where's your air tools? Where's this? Where's that? Look, it's like six o'clock in the morning over here. I'm not about to bust out some crazy loud tools, right? Wake up all my neighbors. And I'm all pissed off at me again. Right? No. Yeah. Plus, I need a workout anyway. You know, in a couple years, I'll be 40. Man, I need all the exercise I can get. Right? Stay young. Stay healthy. Uh, all right. So I'm getting there. Cracking her open. Bullshitting. 
Sound like an idiot. All right, so now I just kind of want to plan right now. I'm not going to take these top bolts out all the way, but I want to have a physical gap behind them because I'm going to pry from the bottom. All right, and I forgot to bring something to do that with. Get through my hands because I'm weak. All right, here I go. Get in the proper tools. This is not the proper tool, but I'm gonna use it. I don't know what the proper tool is. Greg, what's the proper tool? Uh, let me squeeze on up in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on out. Come on. rough up the mating surface. You get it? Mating? With your screwdriver. Right? Don't screw up the mating surface with your screwdriver if that's what you're going to use. There's plenty of spots here to pry without getting to the mating surface itself. Everything is going perfectly. I'm just going to help this drain out because I didn't want it to leak out all over. You know, well, probably wouldn't be up there. You'd be seeing it here more. Coming right out the bottom, just right what I wanted. <laughs> Drip drop it. Go ahead and remove these top ones. Like I said, we're not using power tools. It is real early in the morning. Neighbors were partying last night. Uh, John, don't blame them. Everyone's got today off, or for the most part, you know. All right, there we go. And I'm upset because I don't want to have to clean up this RTV stuff and scrape it. That's all they used. They, they don't even, what, they don't use a gasket? Yeah, I, I've never uh, opened one of these up before, but what I'm looking at, are you kidding me? There, there was no gasket. Like, there's no gasket with these? Huh, interesting. Nope, guys, I have not taken this off my truck. It's been, uh, the dealership changed the fluid once. The truck's got 30,000 miles on it. Yeah, that's it. So now it's uh, time for the second change, and, uh, I've never changed one on a RAM before, ever. But there's nothing. There's no gasket. Just the RTV. Yeah, I'm sitting here stunned. I'm kind of pissed. If I would have known that... If I'd have known that, I'd have never put that red cage on. I figured there was some kind of gasket behind it where there would I could. This pisses me off. All right, next. What I gotta do is ooh, sorry, core. I apologize for that. I'm trying to demonstrate. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean this all up. I gotta clean up all this gasket stuff off of here. All right, uh, clean it all off of this surface here. So look at this. This I don't want this is garbage. All right, throw this to the side here. It's upsetting. I'm going to let this drain out. Uh, checking it out here. It looks pretty good. Metal flakes all over the place. But, uh, but we send it, you know, and if you guys buy some hot damn decal stickers right on my website, that'll help me send it more. I would literally explode this truck on the racetrack if I could afford it, right? You guys might be able to help me do that. You know, I'll do it for you. I will blow the motor completely out of the hood if I could afford it. Pretty sure most of us would. 
And what I mean afford it, you know, if I do it, I at least need the money to replace the motor. I'm down to do it. <laughs> I'm down to throw a 200 shot to win. I'll blow up just to win, right? All I got to do is cross the line, right? No one says you got to cross the line running, right? All right, wasting time. So I'm going to let this stuff drain out. I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'm going to start cleaning up all this RTV ceiling, all right? No reason to have that all on video. It's just going to be stupid long. Alright, just really quick so you see what I got going on here. How I'm cleaning this RTV gasket crap off. I'm using a razor blade to get the big chunks off. Alright. Which is seemingly pretty easy. All this stuff just kind of came right off with ease. So I'm going to do this on this surface. This mating surface. And then I'm also going to do it on the mating surface right on the other side. The axle. Hot band. Alright, and then after I do that, get as much of the chunks off as I can. 1500 grit wet dry sandpaper. Yes, I'm going to get all the orange off of this junk. And it looks like, man, I don't think it comes like this. I think what they did when they changed it at the dealership the first time, they kind of just used a grinder type deal. Not a grinder, but you know what I mean. Damn bastards. That's all I got to say. Jeez, why me? All right, guys, we got everything cleaned up. The mating surface is looking good over here. All right, everything's looking good. But what I'm going to do right now, I'll try to leave a link in the description on this too. All right, this stuff is badass. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this cover real quick, this stiff cover. All right, and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just worried about, you know, the distance glare. I don't want someone to go, damn, that is an ugly, ugly job you did there. Alright, well I don't want to look under there and be like, damn, I could have done better. Okay, so what I'm going to do a couple coats of this. This is basically what's covering the entire underneath of my truck. Besides like a rust converter or something like that. Oh, damn. Um, the little rubber dilly-dally here. If you got one of those, I suggest you leave it on there when you paint it because it seals better to the metal surface. All right, the bare metal surface that's under there. And you can you can paint over it, it doesn't hurt it. It's just going to uh, flake later. All right, basically about it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. You only have to let it dry for like 15 minutes and you can put it on. Do not spray the other side at all. All right, just this side, hot now. Uh, I'll take a close look in here real quick while the uh, valve cover, valve cover, wow, the diff cover is drying, right, I threw a little bit of paint on it, uh, what's going on in here, that grease, no nah, man, that's the RTV freaking jerks, I'm telling you man, that stuff is, that stuff is garbage, they got it all in here. You know, I'm complaining about that. Alright, that's a complaint right there. That's ridiculous. Alright, everything's nice and cleaned up. It's continuously draining. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, that cover on here. Hot damn hell yeah get it bolted down and that's about it but uh if you notice you have a whole bunch of metal flakes and chunks and whatnot that's time to get this done replaced and repaired i would imagine right i don't i didn't see no metal flakes or nothing in here all right hot damn that right there is three nine tizu <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're coming to the end. I got this surface right here all cleaned up. This surface here is all cleaned up here, right? And then I kind of gave it a little bit of paint skis, which doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry, Cora, it just hit you again. Blasphemous. Alright, and uh, my lube locker seal. Now, 
I'm getting it to line up the best way. You see that little lube locker? It's upside down and facing me. Seems like that's the way it wants to line up perfectly. All right, there's all kind of different ways you can put it. It doesn't line up. All right, so here we go. What I'm gonna do, it goes on here like so, and I'm gonna put the bolts, the bolts in set it on there and take my time and line it up all right see what i'm doing there pre-putting them in sort of bring it down all right trying to line her up make sure everything lines up not going to put them all the way in or tight do this top set make sure it's lining up don't want to screw this up it gets ex kind of expensive All right. top top I don't want to get to the gasket I don't want to get to the gasket there's one more here right? these are my little only make sure and now I got a little bit of cage I got some I will extra going on I'm going to All right, I think I got to figure it out. 30 foot pounds. 30. 30 foot pounds. 30 foot pounds. All right, apologize. Not 55, 45, 25, 30. So let's start at number one again. Oh. I'm using the wrong one again. Damn it. Where are you at? making me mad or did I strip it yeah I'm a stripper two yep that's it three it's probably good I think I I beat it up nope that's it boom got it uh one two three four 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 boom got it Five, here. Yeah, here we go. Boom, done. Come on. Six, over here. Done. Seven. Done. Eight. Done. A little more. Done. Nine. Over here. Over here. It's really loose now. Yeah. 
Eleven. Oop. Ah. Yep. And the last one is just gonna be a uga uga. One uga uga. Tug. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that works. Now it's time to fill it with fluid. That's all I can do, really, right there. That's all. That has got to be on. I'm hoping that is not going to leak. We'll find out. All right, let's fill her up with fluid. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little dilly-dally off here. Dilly. Dilly plastic all right now I'm gonna put a little bit of this first all right and then a little bit of this on top and then a little bit of this and then the rest of this just so it mixes up really quickly there or at least theoretically all right cut my little top yeah squirt it in That's what it sounds like when I get out of bed sometimes, or when I'm just laying in bed. Or just, you know, walking around the grocery store. Okay. Do more of this. good I'll just give it a squeeze pump I got more than it needs now all right we'll fill it the rest of the way up Is just fill it to the bottom of this hole. All right, and that's it. I can see it right now. Should be able to reach in there and touch it. And get in there. It's like right there. Right there, buddy. Yep, right there. That's how you test it. Look in there to the flashlight. That's what I should do. I can see it though. I can see it right there. So I'd get three of these just in case you screw up like I do. <laughs> I don't care. All I care is that it's done and it don't leak. Yeah, it's there. That's it. That's all you got to do. There. Alright. This goes on. Job is done. Job is done. Now, I'll get back at you, do a little review, see if it's leaking. Hot damn. Now remember folks, all this do it yourself right here, you watch my video, do it at your own risk. Alright? Hell yeah. Alright, that concludes this video. 
All right, and I know you guys noticed some leaking coming from here and here at the end, but if you noticed, it was leaking, all right, and there wasn't even any fluid in there yet. All right, so what happened was is there was still fluid in the pockets in this cage when I put it on here. I didn't get it completely cleaned out, so that fluid leaked out. That's all that was. It is not leaking now, as far as I know, but we're going to give it a couple days. All right, and then uh, do a true review on this deal here. All right, hot now. All good to go, I believe. And if not, I will call Gregory. Hot now, hell yeah. Three, two, one. 